Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Kenzie family photo. Miss you, Dad. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. But not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Whoa, well, slow down, Maureen. 
What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. But the weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... Th I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. When it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Water, energy bars, purification. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered there. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency. Astrid's the mysterious case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside, which means she's probably not supposed to have it.
need to grab my parka and we can go. broke my fall. Oh, mostly.
I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. Goodness for that. This could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Probably climb that. <sighs> 